couch dot me palaces. Hey there, Lickin' Riffers. Welcome back to yet another awesome guitar lesson here on Lickin' Riff, in which we're going to continue to explore open D minor. If you haven't watched my lesson on the most incredible open tuning, this is it. Open D minor. D-A-D-F-A-D. -D -A -D, dad fad. Okay? Open D minor. It has the most incredible harmonics. It's just resonant and it's amazing and after watching the previous lesson where I introduced uh, open D minor to you you wrote me many of you have written me and uh, asked for another lesson giving you more ideas for utilizing and using open D minor um, so before we start I want to mention that this lesson is sponsored yet again by Skillshare because Skillshare love lick and riffers they know that you're a quality audience and that's why they want to give you 500 more. Okay, this is like the seventh time they're doing this. Uh, they want to give you 500 more um, free subscriptions for two months. Two months of free premium access to all the courses that Skillshare has to offer. That's tens of thousands of courses. Uh, Skillshare, in case you don't know, is a video course learning platform. You have a website, you have an app uh, where you can watch it on your smartphone or whatnot. Um, and they have everything, just everything, literally everything you want to learn, they have it. From photography to drawing to painting to music production to video editing to finance to Facebook advertising to opening a channel on YouTube to uh, book writing to just everything, everything. Everything you want to learn, Skillshare has it. It's an incredible platform, a highly addictive platform. And um, the first 500 of you to click the link below in the description get free premium access for two months to all the courses, even the 10 hour long courses, everything. Everything will be open to you for learning. So go grab it, click the link below in the description and uh, just enjoy the Skillshare platform. Um, Open D minor, D-A-D-F-A-D, -A -D, dad fad. So as I mentioned, you can use octave, okay, octaves by playing the same fret on strings one and four. Okay. Okay, you can just Start playing around with this. If you want some more advanced sounds, I gave you a chord shape, the major chord shape, okay, okay which is uh, a bar anywhere with uh, two fingers above it on strings two and five. So, for example, a, uh, if you want a C chord, it would be a bar on two, and you will have three on the second and fifth strings. Okay, so it'll be two, three, two, two, three. Okay, this is a major chord, okay? But if you wanna create different sounds, try different shapes, okay? You can put your fingers on any fret on the sixth, fifth, and fourth strings. And you'll get interesting sounds. For example, on the second fret. Okay? And then you let it go. You can do it on the third. Okay, and I'm not using any picking pattern. I'm just randomly picking notes, randomly. Okay, and you can slide, uh, you can play the minor scale on the first string. And the fourth, you can play zero, two, three, five, seven, eight, ten, twelve. You can play one note of the of the scale on the first string and play different notes on the fourth. Okay? 
you can use that scale, you can just put your finger on one node on one of those strings and play the scale on the other string, okay? I played 12 on the first one, and then I played, okay? 12, uh, 10, and eight on the fourth, and then I just went down. Okay, you can do the same, um, you can do the opposite. can play a line on one of these strings, one or four, and then duplicate it on the sixth. Okay. Okay, you can stay on one note, vibrate it, and then open the chords again. Uh, open the, the strings again. Now. You can, again, put your fingers on strings 4, 5, and 6, on 7 as well. Let's try 8. 8 works as well. about 10. Also, you can use harmonics. Just randomly. Okay, on 5, 7, and 12. They ring out really, really well. But the real fun begins when you play random shapes. Yeah, I was just playing a D7 shape on strings two, three, and four. Okay, uh, two, three, and uh, sorry, three, two, and three on strings two, three, and four, and it just moved it around. It didn't work on five, but it worked on six. That wasn't it, but it still worked. Okay, it worked on eight. Okay, you can hammer it on and then take it back off wherever it is. Okay, now I've played it on 10. You can bar strings 1, 2, and 3. Just slide it anywhere and let it go. Okay, now I tried barring 7, but I added 8 on the first string. I just tried things. On the previous lesson, I told you anything you put on, D, on open D minor works anything you just have to keep going okay so okay i just arpeggiated the chord okay it's eight seven seven and seven going back to d minor Also use thirds on strings five and four. You can do the C chord head it's two and three. Okay, on strings five and four. Okay, two on the fourth, three on the fifth. Okay, you can do you can do five and seven. I tried different things, you saw, it didn't work, I kept trying, 
So I went back to eight and eight, which is the same as what we did before with the full chord. Okay, so. Okay, so 10 and nine work. Okay, nine on the fourth, 10 on the fifth. Also eight and 10. do these shapes on strings three and four but a shape that works better is a reverse shape so you can play you can play five on the third and four on the fourth and then move that around and see what you get always go back to open strings So on 12 and 11 it works. Okay, also three and two. is because it's part of a major chord. So if you take what I showed you at the beginning with the same fret on strings six, five, and four, and you just bar it and add an extra finger above it on the third string. So if you bar two, it's three on the third string, but you don't bar strings one and two. You keep your finger sideways. So strings one and two are open. You can get really interesting sounds. This is open strings one and two with two, 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 three on strings six to, two to three. You can do it with three, 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 four. You can do it with seven, 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 eight. You can do it with eight, 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 nine. It's a weird chord if you do it on 9. You can do it on 9 and 10. Um, you can put a bar on 2 and play the same fret above it on 1 and 4. Then you get this. Okay, it's endless. I told you the previous lesson, it's endless. You can do anything on this, on this tuning. You can do, you can do an F shape. You can try any shape you like and just see how it sounds. playing an A minor shape on strings 1, 2, and 3. This is an augmented chord. Okay, A minor shape on strings 1, 2, and 3, and I'm just letting it go. And again, you 
can uh, play the same fret, but on strings 2, 3, and 4. Which we actually did. Okay, we added an extra note to it, but we did it. Okay, so as with any creative finger style exercise, you need to figure out what you like and what you don't like. I like the weird sounds. You might not like the weird sounds. Um, so you just have to explore and see what you like and what you don't like and retain what you like and then play that. So uh, you go explore and before you do, click the link below in the description and grab your uh, free premium access to Skillshare for two months uh, to all the courses, tens of thousands of courses. The first 500 of you to do so will get it. So go grab it. So thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next lesson. Bye for now. Enjoy.